Now I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful melon swan display. Okay, the first thing we're going to do in um, preparing our, our melon swans is to choose our fruit. Now we can, the different shapes of the fruit will give you a different shaped swan. The, a round fruit like this is going to give you a tall swan and then a, a long melon like this you can make a long swan or you could even pick it up and make a very tall swan. So you want to see, think about how you're going to display your fruit. I'm planning on doing a long swan and a tall swan and later you'll see how I display it. Um, the next thing you want to do is wash your fruit because um, you, you, the melon can often you know carry salmonella and things like that so you want to use a very light amount of uh, regular dish soap in a bucket of water and you just wash your food, fruit and then rinse it off with fresh water so that's our fruit has already been cleaned and um, and let's start now if you want you can use a uh, child's marker try to find a color that isn't too contrasty if you need to mark out the swan on the fruit um, once you get used to doing these you can really cut them just visualize it on the fruit and do your cutting but I'll show you how to draw it on now the first thing I do when I look at the fruit is to figure out where I want the neck I want to use the, ne the neck wants to be in a nice high arch. So this is going to be the outside of the neck and the neck is going to end with a little curve and then I'm going to have the inside of the neck like this and this is a water soluble child's marker so it's non-toxic and we should be able to just wipe it right off if any of it shows in the end. So, so we're going to first make a neck and you want to make a nice curved neck that is narrow up on the top, comes down a little bit wider and, and flares out at the end. And then for the head section you're almost making a heart, a heart shape there. Okay, but it's going to be you're not going to make the, the little V here. You're going to end it right at the thing. But just imagine that you're making a heart like this, but we're not coming down to a point. We're going to leave that thick there and then make the other side of the heart like that. Now the next section will scoop around like this and you can come have it attach right here. So it's almost like a big circle there. Okay? And that will give strength to the head. If we cut this right off here, then our neck can get kind of soft in the end. You'll see how that works. 